Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is August 30th, 2019, and you are getting ready to watch a general love reading for the sign of Aries. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, it may resonate for you. It is a love reading, so obviously it can pertain to romantic love, but it can also pertain to any other kind of relationship you might be dealing with, including situations and circumstances you might be dealing with. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Be flexible with the energy. It may feel like I'm reading directly for you, but it may also feel like I'm reading directly for somebody that you might be dealing with. In other words, you might feel like you're cross-watching for that person. My readings, even though I state the date, are not time-specific, so if you're watching this a week, a month, or a year from now, it might still resonate. And I'm going to give my deck one more shuffle and get started for Aries. General love reading. Let's see what's up with you guys today. In your underlying energy, Aries, you have justice. Paired with the Queen of Cups in reverse. You have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Three of Wands. The Two of Swords. With the Wheel of Fortune. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Paired with the Six of Swords in reverse. All right. Let's get some more cards on the table. What's going on with Aries? So in your underlying energy, Aries, you have Justice and the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is your energy. You might be feeling emotional, maybe a little overly sensitive regarding a situation or a person. You may have withdrawn your emotions regarding a situation or a person. There is some stuck energy on the table. We have both the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Six of Swords in addition to the Three of Wands, kind of waiting, feeling stuck, feeling like you're not moving towards what you need to move toward. There may be a decision that needs to be made. And I'm feeling a sense of wanting to move away from something or moving on from something, but the inability to do so. And that may have something to do with the emotions that you're dealing with. Whatever the situation is, it's something that needs to happen, something that's right, something that the universe has brought about because it's time to make things right. With the Justice card out here, it's possible some of you could be dealing with a legal situation. Maybe a decision hasn't been made yet. Let's see what else comes up for Aries. Clarifying justice in your underlying energy, you have the Two of Air. This card represents um, having an answer before you, but you're refusing to see it or acknowledge it or having trouble following some, some sound advice. Paired with the Queen of Cups in reverse, you have the God or the Emperor card in reverse. 
you do feel like you have sensing this lack of control or something is out of your hands you may be waiting you might be emotional about whatever the situation is that you don't feel like you have control over I think you know what the situation is or what the answer is you may not want to acknowledge it So there's a situation going on here. Um, I do sense this has been going on for a decent amount of time. And something tells me the clock's been ticking, clock's been ticking, no resolution, maybe a resistance to finding some kind of revolution, re revolution, resolution or answer but it's not happening just yet. There's definitely some emotions involved with what's going on here. Feeling a little bit of oversensitivity. Regarding the situation, maybe feeling a little bit lost about how to get unstuck or how to get out of the situation. A lack of control or you feel like you don't have control over this matter. You may be turning away from seeing the truth about something that's right or something that has to be. Let's see what else we get here, Aries, before I do any more talking because I'm just going to start rambling here if I don't have any more clarity. So let's see what else we get. So clarifying justice in your underlying energy, you have the Empress. And clarifying the Queen of Cups, you have the Queen of Swords. Interesting. King of Swords in reverse that showed up on the on the table. Five of Pentacles this time in the upright position. It's a repeat card. Clarifying the Two of Swords. Okay, I need to I need to just look at these for a little while. I'm not picking up the storyline yet, Aries. So there this is definitely at least involving one other person, the King of Swords. So let's talk about this person for a minute. I feel like you're waiting on this person to speak up or talk to you. Um I think that they have been quiet for a while has you feeling overly emotional you might be feeling sensitive about speaking up yourself there might be some kind of truth or some kind of 
information that you are wanting this King of Swords to speak up about, and they're not. Your energy is the Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. So we've already talked about the Queen of Cups. This could be someone who's withdrawing emotion or feeling overly sensitive. Um, in a more negative sense, this is somebody who can be an emotional vampire, someone who's clingy, who's hanging on to something, but I don't sense that. I do feel like there is some sadness and some grief. Um, I feel like you want to talk to this King of Swords, and I feel like they're resisting. I think you're waiting on some kind of justice to be served in your favor. You have the Empress clarifying the justice, the justice card. This is your energy also. There's something about some kind of situation where you're in the right. And I think it's something you know. You're waiting for some confirmation or for an answer or for some kind of communication that is justified in your favor. You're waiting on this confirmation or, or communication, something regarding, I think, something that you're aware of, maybe some wrongdoings or something that happened that felt unjust. And you might be waiting for this King of Swords to fess up, to admit what is going on, to come clean. I have a feeling that this King of Swords is the one causing the um, emotions. I'm not feeling so much anger as I am sadness or disappointment regarding this King of Swords. They've disappointed you. But this King of Swords is feeling insecure for some reason and stuck. They're also feeling some significant emotions, but it's a little bit more chaotic in their heads. They don't, I don't know that this person quite understands the emotions that they're dealing with right now. And they're feeling stuck and immature, I'm not immature, but stuck and insecure is what I meant to say, not immature. They might be immature too. Um, but this person is stuck they do want to speak up, but I think they're afraid. I think that this person is lacking a clear understanding about a situation. Um, they might be waiting on you to speak up, but you're not, well, I don't know that it's not, I don't know that you're not willing to talk to them, but I don't know that it's your place to talk to them for some reason. I'm wondering if they accused you of something, Aries. I feel like they accused you of some poor behavior. We have the mother of earth here in the reverse and this can in indicate someone who is over excessive. Um, excessive. Did I say that right? Yeah, I think I did. Um, I'm not apparently using my words very well today. Um, someone who might, you know, in the financial sen sense maybe overspends, is irresponsible, a little egocentric cares for only themselves and you have the five of pentacles clarifying the two of swords I feel like um, they think you did something that caused some problems for you or for both of you you and the king of swords 
that over time messed up some kind of dreams you had together possibly. Um, I feel like they think that you have done something that caused some problems or maybe something that you two were working toward or some kind of dreams that you had together and that you messed things up and I don't feel like that's the case. I think that they are misunderstanding something or misguided. There's a sense of being lost. Um, they may have walked away from a situation in order to regain some financial stability. But I think, again, I think they were misguided in whatever actions they took. This feels like it could have something to do with a financial matter, a financial situation. And this is something that has happened over a period of time. I need to get more cards on the table. Things are starting to come, come clear a little bit. Let's see what else we get though, Aries. Just a couple shuffles. I pre-shuffled on my decks, but I want to shuffle a couple more times before we get some more cards out. Whatever circumstances is happening between you and this King of Swords, you are in the right. It's very clear the cards are saying. As far as I can tell, you are in the right and there's some kind of denial or this King of Swords is, like I said, misguided, misunderstanding, a little lost, not maybe not listening to you, maybe refusing to talk to you, refusing to understand your point of view. And it's caused you two to come to a screeching halt. I do feel like there, there's a potential new beginning here between the two of you or something new and exciting that you may have been working toward that has come to a standstill because of, of some situation, that some misunderstanding. Um, I think you're waiting on a message from this King of Swords, you're waiting to hear from them. So clarifying the Tomb of Air, we have the Ten of Swords. This is a repeat card. Let me get some of these out before I talk about them. Then you have the Three of Swords, clarifying the God card of the Emperor in Reverse. We have the Two of Swords, another repeat card, clarifying the Five of Water. Some kind of decision that needs to be made. Devil energies clarifying the King of Swords cards, a sense of feeling lost. This person is not communicating, it's what has them stuck right now. They Here's Justice again, this time in the reverse, clarifying the Mother of Earth. Their interpretation of what you did or what they think you did is incorrect. They think you messed something up for, the, for them or for both of you. They think you've been manipulating them or manipulating a situation. Okay, let's talk about these. So we had in your pre-reading card, first of all, you had the Three of Wands is your first card. And it's also clarifying your King of Swords. So they're waiting on something. I think they're waiting for you to fix something in this situation, but you don't have control over fixing this situation because they're wrong about their interpretation of what's going on. I wish I knew what the exact situation was, but it's gonna be different for everybody because I think that's why there's some confusion on my part. Now you also had the, the uh, 10 of swords in the reverse twice. This was in your pre-reading set of cards and this one just came out clarifying the two of air. So they may have in the past, I feel like, um, misunderstood some, some kind of situation or, or interpreted something wrong, accused you of something wrongly, or not seeing the truth for what it is. There's something about them not having a clear understanding of what's going on. And you are waiting to hear from them. And they're not talking. They're not communicating with you. 
right now. I think this King of Swords feels lost, feels in the dark, and is very unhappy about some kind of situation, I think, Aries, that they think you messed up for some reason. They are wrong in their thinking. They think that you messed something up, that you were acting inappropriately, you were acting selfishly, and their, their judgment of you is incorrect. They may be waiting on an apology for, from you or waiting for you to fix the situation. I think they feel like you ruined something or ruined an opportunity and you two had some big dreams, some big dreams that you were working on together possibly or something that you were moving toward. And right now it's at a standstill. There's some internal conflict regarding the situation because movement has stopped movement forward has stopped and i do feel like they think that in the past and present there was manipulation on your part and it's lasted for a long time the new beginning is not happening right now there's something you two may have been planning something you two may have been working on together and there's no movement. I think that you know that you don't have any control over the situation. You probably have tried to talk to this King of Swords and they're not having it. For whatever reason, they are not receptive to having a conversation or communicating with you. This has resulted in some some sadness, some disappointment on your part. But I feel like you've come to terms with the fact that you you don't have control over this matter. This is this for whatever reason, this King of Swords needs to come to terms with something in order for you two to move forward with whatever this is. Let's get some more cards on the table for you, Aries. Let's see what else I can come up with for you. Or the two of pentacles there was some kind of failure someone dropped the ball on something four of wands and it resulted in um it broke the foundation there was something you two were building together something you two have been working on whatever this failure was, or this, um, something happened that weakened the progress or the strength of what you two have been building together. world this is oh no sorry this was not a repeat card you had the wheel of fortune okay um so this king this king is feeling um angry and emotional and insecure and their only movement is toward being less and less clear on the situation. I, I do feel like they are not making progress um, regarding their feelings or them having come to this conclusion that you were at fault regarding something. There, there's no progress in their growth or understanding or capability, capabilities to communicate with you. For them, something came to an end 
And I think they think you caused this ending. Of a potential dream or wish that you two were both working on together. I feel like they're trying to fix things in their own life, their own life. But right now they're trapped by feeling lost and unhappy. They're trapped by trying to regain, possibly trying to regain some financial um, stability. They're right now they're caught up in trying to recover is what I'm getting. They're trying to recover. So they're not even looking at the situation and trying to figure things out with you. They're just focused on recovering from whatever it is that didn't happen or didn't transpire between the two of you. And here's another card of delay or a, an inability to make a choice or unhappy with the decisions that were made. The two of pentacles, there's just a lot of disappointment. There's a lot of delay. There's a lot of feeling of someone dropped the ball. And this King of Swords is blaming you. Now, I'm not saying that maybe there wasn't something going on that, that maybe you had a hand in that caused some kind of problems between the two of you. But you are not, either you're not at fault at all or you're not the only one who's at fault. I mean, I keep going back to the Empress and the Justice card. And this Mother of Earth and this Justice in Reverse card. Their interpretation of your part, your part in this matter is incorrect. And they're not seeing, they're either not willing to see or they're not able to see the truth about this. This is still really confusing for me, Aries. I'm sorry. If you're resonating with this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know your circumstance. I don't. And again, this could be different for everybody. Um, all I'm getting right now is that there is something that happened between the two of you that resulted in um, a something coming to a screeching halt. Some kind of dream, something you were working on together. Some, something that you, you know, maybe you were working on um, saving up money to buy a house together, or maybe you were going to start a business together, or you had some kind of project at work that you were working on, and they have decided that you have ruined things, that you messed it up, and you didn't. And they've moved on now, trying to recover from this on their own, but they're also not willing to talk. They're not willing to talk to you. They're not willing to communicate right now. They don't want to hear your side of things. But they are still definitely emotional, feeling more angry than anything else about being stuck. And I, again, I do feel like it's some kind of financial situation, some kind of financial matter. Money is involved in some way, shape, or form. Because this King of Swords now feels very insecure about money and they're trying to recover from this. They feel trapped by having to recover from this. Let's see, let's get one more round for you, Aries, and see if we can't come up with anything else. So in your underlying energy, you have the Nine of Wands in reverse, paired with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you are, and just for the record, although I'm not putting this card out, we have the, oh wait, never mind, that's the Six of Wands. I was thinking it was Three of Wands. Never mind. Okay, this is, this is heavy now all of a sudden. Oh, there's some pretty heavy energy here. So you feel right now, Aries, you're feeling um, 
like you may have to give up. You're feeling very insecure about this matter. You're not thinking that, you, that this can be resolved. You're not feeling like you have any control over resolving this issue or even communicating about it with this King of Swords. They have now come out with the King of Wands in reverse energy and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They are angry. They feel like all of this was a waste of time, whatever you were working on together. They put all their eggs in one basket and the basket got dumped out and all the eggs are now crushed and running all over the street. They feel like this has been one giant waste of time and they're really mad about it. The sad part about this is this is a significant relationship and I think that part of the reason why you may be watching this Aries is because you're not sure if this relationship is going to survive this. You're in your head about it. You might be having nightmares. You might be up at night worrying because this is a significant relationship between you and this King of Swords. I mean, you are you are a true pair. You. You are, you know, probably a soul connection of some kind. You have some kind of soul contract. I think you have a very significant relationship with this person. And you are experiencing some heartache over this mess. It feels like a mess. I don't know what it is for you, Aries, but it feels like a mess. So in your, this part's, you know, there's, there's a lot of sense of um, hesitation, failure, being stuck, being trapped, stuck, unable to move on, feeling trapped, feeling lost and unhappy. However, here's the good news, Aries. I'm, and I'm going to end this on this good note, this, this, um, these last couple of cards that to me indicate there is hope here because you had the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups come out as your very last two cards in your outcome. So I don't know what the resolution of the situation is going to be for you. Obviously communication is key and right now that's not happening, but you two have potential longevity together. This is the, the family card, the building a legacy together card. This is the, you know, the 10 of pentacles. You have not just love and family, but financial stability, but there's love here. There is significant love here, ace of cups. And I feel like you do have a mess on your hands, but you are standing pretty in your energy, Aries, Empress with Justice. Eventually this king is going to open his eyes, his or her eyes. Remember, energy can, you know, go both ways. But this king will open his eyes and see what's going on and see that they misjudged you because this isn't going away. This is too significant to have whatever this is ruin this relationship. So I do feel like there's significant hope, Aries. Um, I wish I could give you more details on how that's gonna happen or when this king is going to see the light. Um, just stay strong, know that the truth always comes out, you are going to be okay and your king is going to be okay. In the meantime, do the best you can to recover and heal your feelings and don't lose hope. Aries, I'm going to leave it here. I hope that helped and I hope you gained some insight or some confirmation, whatever you were looking for. Stay strong and I hope I see you next time, Aries. Bye.